Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Accenture coding question. This coding question was asked in the Accenture exam of 31st October 2023. So guys, sorry, I am making this video a little late, but I have just got the time. So here I am with the latest questions which are getting asked in the Accenture exam. Guys, previously also on my YouTube channel, I have posted lot of videos uh, regarding the Accenture interview experiences as well as Accenture coding questions. Okay. So make sure that if you have not watched those videos till now, please watch them because currently the Accenture hiring is going on and in future also the hiring will be continuing. So I am a dedicated playlist on my channel. All the links will find in the description box. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end and following all the coding videos as well as the interview experiences of the Accenture company. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will, we will be reading the question, then we will be discussing the approach of this question and finally we will be moving towards the coding part of this question. So let's start with the question first. Question here is, given an array of integers, find the contiguous subarray contains at least one number which has the largest sum and return that sum. Again, I am repeating the question. Given an array of integers, find the contiguous subarray contains at least one number which has the largest sum and return that sum. Input will be a list of integer number. The length of the input will be that is how many numbers can be there in the array will be ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 5. These representing an array of numbers. Output will be return an integer, the maximum sum of any contiguous subarray in the given array. Let me just first tell you that what is a contiguous subarray. So contiguous subarray means that these two values, they all the values in the array that are coming close to each other that is these this form one array this forms one sub array this forms one sub array and all like these values and this value and this one these minus one and this minus one will not form a sub array this will be subsequence sub array will be all the elements that are one after the other in this particular array okay so i hope this sub array thing is clear to you now what we'll do we have a uh, uh, array of numbers and the numbers can be ranging from negative to positive also we have to find the maximum sum of contiguous subarray so there are a lot of subarrays which will be possible in this particular array we have to find the sum of each of the subarray and out of those out of those sums that we will be getting we will have to return the maximum sum okay we have to return the maximum sum of that subarray so here the output is 6 so how the output is 6 so this subarray has the maximum <coughs> sum that is 4 plus minus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 1 is oh, 5 plus 1 is 6. So this is out of all the subarrays that have been formed here, this particular subarray has the maximum sum available to us. That is 6. Therefore, we have returned 6 as our answer. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just move too quickly towards the approach and coding part of the question. Okay. Okay. So guys, for this particular question, we will be discussing approach as well as the coding part in the similar step only okay so uh, i have written the code only already uh, let me just show you okay so this is the code that i have written so by reading this question if you have done the coding little bit you will be coming across an algorithm that is known as cadence algorithm cadence algorithm is nothing but the same question that is finding the maximum contiguous subarray sum given an array okay so this is how uh, this is an algorithm in which we find the contiguous sum of subarray maximum contiguous sum of subarray and this is the only way of finding the sum of those subarrays in the big o of n time okay else all the ways are in big o of n square or big o of n cube so only this cadence algorithm is the way in which we can find the contiguous sum of subarray in big o of n time complexity that is the least possible for this particular uh, for this particular question okay so what i have done so first of all we have declared the function because in accenture you will only have to write the complete the function you don't have to write the input and output for these just the completion of the function you have to write how the function will be given to you it will be uh, you will have an array as an input and the number of elements that is int n of that array as input so i am writing this entire code in c plus plus language but you can feel free to choose any of the language okay java c python all those are available i am just writing in c plus plus Okay, so what we will do, we will take two variables, one will be int sum equivalent to 0, initialize with 0, next will be int max sum, we will be initializing this max sum with int min. Now this sum will be telling us the current sum, 
this variable and the max sum variable will be telling the maximum sum of an sub array that we have gotten till now okay we are initializing it with int min that is the lowest possible value and after once we will be finish iterating the array in the max sum we will have the <laughs> maximum sum of the sub array that we have encountered in this entire array and this sum variable <coughs> is used for calculating the current sum sum <coughs> till now okay <coughs> i hope this thing is clear to you now what we'll do we have to find the maximum uh, we have to find the sub array which have the maximum sums for that what we'll do we'll simply iterate the we will simply iterate the current array for i equal to 0 i less than an i plus plus what we'll do the current element we'll get we will simply add that current element into this sum variable so sum plus equal to arr of i okay so we have added this sum uh, we are adding the current element into this sum variable now what we are doing we are now finding the maximum sum till now so maximum sum we are finding till now is max sum is equal to max of max sum comma sum so we are comparing the value of this sum with this max sum and whichever value is highest between these two values we are putting it in the max sum so first step what we are doing we are simply adding the current value in the sum variable second thing we are comparing this sum variable with the max sum variable okay so after that now this is the tricky uh, tricky part of this particular solution just if you will understand this thing entire solution will become very clear okay just this thing that is if sum is less than zero then sum equal to zero see first of all let's understand what we are trying to achieve we are trying to achieve the maximum sum that is possible maximum sum of a continuous sub array okay maximum sum of a continuous sub array so think for a while if current at present at present let's just suppose it is minus one two three okay so this is the array with us so if at present but we will we will follow the same approach our sum variable will be containing minus one because it will uh what it will do it will uh zero plus error of i current element is minus one our maximum value what it will take it will be maximum of int min and sum that is int min and minus one which one which one is larger it is minus one okay now see now this sum is already minus that is it is already negative and what we are doing in the next situation we are adding again a current element into this sum variable so see our sum is already negative if we will add any positive number any any positive or any negative number in the end it will be its original value will be decreased by one only so even if we will add this two then this current sum will become one so is it is it the right thing because see this two can also be the maximum value that is possible for this array but since our sum is negative now if we will add any value to this sum now it means that we are already decreasing the value beforehand only so therefore to avoid this particular condition what we are doing if our sum is less than zero at any stage we are again making that sum equal to zero and from the next iteration this again error of i that is the current element is added in this sum this we have done only when this sum becomes less than zero so that our uh, next value that we are about to add in this sum does not get reduced automatically before getting add only i hope this thing is clear to you and in the end if all these things are clear to you for every element and in the end we will return max sum okay let me just quickly now uh, see uh, run the example this one it should give us the answer as 6 let's just see what it will give okay so uh, first of all how many uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay 9 are there 9 elements are there let me just quickly run the answer should be 6 okay so here you can see the output is 6 so guys this particular solution will work for any of the case that will be given to you in Accenture exam and this uh, time complexity of cadence algorithm is big o of n and you cannot do any other approach uh, less than this o of n this is the maximum approach that we can try and have done the best scenario in this particular case so i hope entire approach and question was clear to you so thank you for watching this video and guys do hit that like and subscribe button for more such videos